Hey everyone, Trace here, and we're all thinking of the new year 2018, and a lot of things that people do is think about organizing and organizing their home, organizing their system, there's different things they want to organize, and so I'm going to go over how I store my May May Made It stamps, and I have quite a few, and it's growing every day. So I just wanted to show you basic things on how to store your stamps and, and you don't need any special equipment or sleeves or anything like that although I think that system is fantastic and I will probably convert to that at some point when I can invest in those beautiful sleeves and organize things that way but for now um, without all that I this is how I store it so when I get a brand new sheet of stamps here and I try to keep the packaging as, as pristine as possible. So I open it up and the first thing I do, because that sticky, sticky part right there, it gets in my way and uh, it uh, sticks all over and drives me crazy. So I go ahead and cut that right off, almost to the to the exact edge there. So that I don't need. So then I also, while I'm cutting, there's that little flap here with the hole in it. I cut off that flap just underneath that line where that hole ends. So it's just slightly above the perforation here. And then I go ahead and take everything out of the, the packaging, the sleeve here, and I turn it upside down. So now I have the stamp set and the cardboard here. So before I do anything with this stamp set, I really like how it comes out when the two parts here, the outer plastic and the main plastic here, how they are completely even with each other. Oftentimes I would try to put them back together and I could never get this backing sheet on perfectly or evenly at all. And so that kind of frustrated me. So what I, I discovered with the different stamp sets is sometimes they come with a piece of tape already attached to the end so the, the two pieces cannot really come apart. You cannot lose that second piece. So all I do is take a piece of regular clear tape and run it along the side, or the end I should say, halfway from the very edge. So. So I go ahead and run that halfway, hanging over, half's hanging over, half is, then I flip it over and attach the other half to the back, of the, attach that other half of tape. So the tape is overlapping one side to the other. Then I just kind of cut off any excess on each side. But also another step to enforce it is I add some more tape if it doesn't have very much of a grip here on this side. So to add a little more strength, I just put another piece of tape along there. So now when you open up the backing, you take that off, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay right attached with the rest of the stamp set and it can go right back into place nice and even when you're through. So that makes me happy. <laughs> and so then the next thing I do is I take a pen and I, I mark on the cardboard here which stamp set this, this particular sleeve is for. So this is Sassy Birthday. So I just write that here on the end of this cardboard and that way when I go to put this stamp set away from using it 
I know exactly which sleeve that this stamp set will go into. So then I take the cardboard and I, like I said, I turned this upside down. So now this opening is the very top instead of the other way around. So I just put that cardboard or cardstock back into that sleeve and then I'm able to slip the stamp set back into there and then I, I just leave this this piece of cardstock inside the sleeve so now I can access that very easily anytime I, I want to and if I happen to these two pieces get scattered like they always do in a messy craft room I can always say oh yeah this is the stamp set that goes into the sleeve because I wrote the title of the stamp set so I have several more to, to kind of prep if you will and then I will show you how I actually s store them all together so if you find that by using your stamp set quite often, so the stamps go in and out of the sleeve, this plastic here, and sometimes that will cause it to tear on the edges, just go ahead and take a small piece of tape and reinforce those edges just at the opening so they can't tear open. That, that helps me. And so, I've prepped those and I'll go over a little bit of how I clean my stamps. I love these Brutus Monroe squeaky clean um, stuff. It is so so awesome. All you have to do is squirt just a little bit of, of that on your stamp and you can see how real dirty that is. So just that little bit of solution here really cleans that up nicely so there's just a little bit of ink left over I'm not too worried about it it's not going to affect the ability for it to stamp perfectly that's really good so I just take that and put it back in into my stamp set here and I return it back into the sleeve. In fact, there is an area where it's tearing a bit. So I will just add a piece of tape here. And this is just, like I said earlier, this is just my solution now. Eventually, I will invest in some of those really nice sleeves to hold and store everything. But the reason why I also like to do this system here is on my shelf where I keep them it's a photo box from Michaels and they come in all different colors and designs and because I cut off this here and a bit of this they fit in this box perfectly just like that so I can easily store a, a great deal in there and access it very easily so that's how I do that and in the thumbnail I'll show my shelf I have actually two of those photo boxes with May May stamps and so with the taller ones these larger stamp sets I have a basket like this on my shelf and all of those size stamps fit on that very nicely standing up on the edge of my shelf like that so that's how I clean and store my stamps and I hope you all give it a try if you don't have a system that you're doing right now and um, I hope you have a great new year and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you next time bye bye